Today we're going to change the belt and unclog the best budget vacuum on the market. Now this is the Bissell model 1739 and has been replaced by the 2019, but it's still on my budget recommendations list. The customer said this vacuum's not picking up. The first thing we want to do is make sure that there's tension on the belt, which there is. Now that doesn't mean the belt is good, it simply means it's intact. Now we can start looking for other problems. So the next thing we're going to check is going to be the hoses to see if the machine is clogged. On these machines, you have to watch out for clogs because you have an 8 amp motor coupled with a pretty long stretch of hose. As you can see, the air pathway comes up, loops around 180 degrees, then down and a 45 into a 90 at the bag. As I've said in my previous videos, the more complex an air pathway is, the more likely it is to clog. You can check the lower hose by dropping a penny, or in this case a screw, down into the lower hose. Shake the vacuum around a little. If it doesn't pop out of the brush roll area, that means you have a clog there. We definitely have a clog in the lower hose on this one, which you can barely see right here. We know there's a clog here in the lower hose. We'll take care of that first and then look at the upper hose. You can always fashion a coat hanger or a stiff piece of wire and fashion it into a hook. Since I have another vacuum here, I'm going to try and suck out the clog first. This clog's really stuck, so first we're going to have to remove the retainer using this one screw. Now the end of this hose will just pull off. Now we have great access to our clog using only one screw. Now we will reinsert the hose end. Sometimes you have to work on it a little bit, but you'll get it. Now we can screw this back into the main body of the vacuum where it was before. Have you found this video helpful so far? Do me a favor and go ahead and beep boop that like button right now. To check the upper hose, you simply twist the fitting about an eighth of a turn clockwise and pull it out. Now you can use your penny or another vacuum to check and see if there's a clog in this front of hose. No clog there, so we are good. Now it's time to check the belt. Remove the five screws on the blue bottom plate. Now pull straight up on the brush roll to remove it. Unloop it from the brush roll and now you can remove it from the motor shaft. You can see how much larger the old belt is than the new one. This can lead to slipping, which hurts cleaning performance, so now's the time to change it. Make sure to clean the brush roll before reinstalling. The end caps are captive, meaning that if hair gets in there, you cannot remove it. Also, this brush roll is just made out of ABS plastic instead of the more expensive glass reinforced nylon. So if you leave hair and debris on there, there will be a greater chance of it melting. Take the new belt and loop it over the motor shaft. Now loop your brush roll through and use it as leverage to pull it into place. The belt side of the brush roll will fit in any direction, but make sure the opposite notch end cap is all the way in and sitting flush. 
Now you can push the bottom plate back into place and replace the screws. Inches of the ham. A little detail magic and it's looking significantly better. That's how to maintain your Bissell 1739. If you take care of this machine properly, you'll be surprised how long it will serve you. Hopefully this helps. We will see you in the next one. Bye.